Flight Plan offers all pilots the traditional method of processing fuel as time. Now pilots have the option of creating their flight plans by processing fuel as weight. Calculating your fuel as weight provides a variety of information that will make flight planning easier. Setting up fuel as weight is easy and it will take only a few minutes. Just have your aircraft flight manual handy to quickly provide the required information for the setup. Start by opening flight plan and going to the main menu on the left. Click on settings. Look for and click on edit aircraft list. This will open the enter edit aircraft data page. Find the aircraft you want to convert to fuel as weight calculations. Go to the weights column. Click on the blue open box associated with that aircraft. A weights page will open. Be sure the selected aircraft number is at the top left of the page. Under weight unit, enter pounds. Now, check your aircraft flight manual to assure the correct information for your entries. The minimum weight and minimum in-flight weight are optional entries. The operational empty weight of the aircraft is required. The total fuel capacity unit must be in pounds. Since your total fuel capacity can vary at different temperatures, you may want to place the maximum value that your tanks can physically hold. That will prevent you from exceeding weight limits when the tanks hold more fuel. Make sure the flight plan input aircraft weight units and the flight plan input fuel weight units are in pounds. Then enter your fuel type. There is one more optional selection. You can enter a desired minimum landing fuel. If you do this, all flights will be calculated with that amount of fuel always left on landing. Now, scroll down to click on Save. You only need to complete this setup once unless there are changes to this aircraft. Now you'll be returned to the home page. Click on Settings once again in the main menu on the left. Find and click on Default User Settings. You must set the default to tell the software to process fuel as weight in your flight plan. Once in the default user settings page, scroll down to the bottom of the page and find flight plan fuel mode. Select fuel as weight. Do not forget to click save default settings. Now let's see the changes in flight plan when using fuel as weight. Open flight plan and go to the main menu on the left. Under Favorites or Flight Planning, click on Create Flight Plan. This will open the new flight plan field. Complete the entries, then click on Create Flight Plan. A flight plan interface appears. Complete this page, starting with the basics. It's mandatory to enter altitude, speed, estimated time of departure, and souls on board, or SOB. You can choose your alternate landing site or allow the software to select an alternate. You must enter a payload, which includes pilots, passengers, baggage, and cargo. If you know how much fuel you have on board, you can add that under Current Fuel on Board, or FOB. Notice, if you click on the small circle with the eye in it near an entry, a pop-up will appear explaining the entry. This one provides additional information about planned fuel on board. The fuel required for the flight will be calculated based on fuel on board and include any extra fuel you've added for the flight. This additional fuel will appear on the nav log. If you want full fuel, click on the blue box. Under Route Selection, you can select the direct route, your own route, or no preferred routes or stored routes. When you've made your selections, click on Press Here for Navlog. The flight plan software will process your input and provide a navigation log. The navigation log contains tables of information. The Navlog will list the fuel for taxi, fuel for the trip, fuel to reach an alternate airport or ALT if needed, a 45-minute reserve, extra fuel, and the planned fuel on board, or PFOB.
extra fuel will appear if there is fuel left over from the flight. The minimum fuel required is the fuel required for the planned flight. Notice the weight information. The operational empty weight, or OEW, payload and zero fuel weight, or ZFW, are provided. The table below provides the planned takeoff weight, or PTOW, and planned landing weight from your takeoff airport and for all airports potentially involved in the flight. The maximum landing weight, or MTXW, and the maximum landing and takeoff weights are indicated for all airports involved. These will include the limiting codes for the runways selected. This information provides weight data only, not balance. You still must confirm the balance for your aircraft. Do not forget to click Save and Return to Main Menu to place this flight in the Active Flight Plan list. This should provide a better understanding of how to add and use fuel as weight in your flight planning.